All right, folks, today we are a little bit nostalgic with an East German pork steak recipe. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. It's time to grill. Today's recipe video comes up with an interesting story. You will need a classic German mustard, about 500 grams. As always, you will find the exact amount of ingredients in the video description. A German dark beer, a small bottle, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. And that's it. As I mentioned in the beginning, the dish basically comes from the German Democratic Republic and is related to the 80s. It's a little bit of the classic grill uh, and barbecue dish from that time in that country. You will need a pork roast as well. This is neck, but of course you can use uh, different pork cuts if you like. Cut them into slices. And the final ingredient you will need is onion. You will need a lot of onions for that dish. I took about three or four of that uh, massive sized big yellow onions. Then you will need a bowl. Start with a little bit of that marinade. And then it's all about layering marinade, meat. Cover the meat in marinade again. And then a layer of that chopped up onions. And then again, marinade, meat, marinade, onions. And this dish will turn out perfect if you leave this in the refrigerator for minimum 12 hours. I left it in my refrigerator for two whole days. And the result is simply stunning. Of course, don't forget the final layer of onions. I also a little bit added a little bit of foil so it stays completely cold inside the refrigerator and here is the result after two days. You have perfect marinated onion beer mustard flavored pork steaks. Amazing stuff. What I haven't showed you before as always in the meantime I have already prepared a starting chimney full of charcoal briquettes and these are just ready right now in that moment. So open up your charcoal kettle. We are losing, using the Landman Kepler charcoal kettle again. Put in the uh, charcoal into the baskets at the grates and let the grill heat up. You will need high direct heat. Of course, the beer is always good. I really enjoy that dark beer here from Germany. Good stuff. Then grill your steaks about three or four minutes per side. Make sure to flip them to have nice grill marks. You could also try to get a better grill mark by uh, turning on uh, 90 degrees in the meantime. After four minutes per side, you could just set them on indirect heat and let them sit there until they have the internal temperature that you prefer with pork steaks. You could also add a cast iron pan followed by some fresh onions with a mixture of that marinated onions and just roast some onions to go with the steak. The flavor of these onions with the beer and mustard is also very, very good. Yeah, it's delicious. Now here's a German roll. Again, add some more of that mustard. That mustard has also its origin in uh, the uh, eastern part of Germany, so it's uh, necessary to use exactly this mustard for that dish. But of course, you will get more opportunities with the basic idea of that marinade. You could add more ingredients, you could add craft beer, you could add hot mustard or different mustard specialities. There are a lot of things possible with that uh, basic idea of uh, this wonderful traditional nostalgic German dish. And of course I will try the sliced version as well. Are you familiar with that dish? Please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that. 
You could also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Please visit my fan pages as well. If you're interested in more German recipe, check out my uh, grill books. They are linked into the inside the video description. You will find everything inside there. Video description. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.